Alrighty, folks, welcome back! We're making a corset inspired by 18th century stays, but definitely not historically accurate because your girl ain't got time for that. Because we gotta go to the Renaissance Fair in four, four days. days! Also, I technically made a whole outfit, but this may or may not be a two-part video depending on if I actually make the second part. But here's just the corset, woo! Let's go! Special guest today! My sister! Me! Me! <laughs> I'm crafting to- I'm making a Seahawk costume. Shout out to all the She-Ra fans. I doubt there's any- I don't know if they know what that is, but um, my sister does cosplay. Check her out on TikTok. And at, at Gilly B Cosplay. What she said. I want to apologize in advance if there's any poop audio on and off throughout this video. It's because the AC- I'm gonna buy a microphone soon, so please don't hate me. Okay, bye. You guys, while I was gone for like two months from YouTube, I did a little studio renovation. And look, it's so organized and upgraded. And I even made this little rack thing. Hey, nice rack. And I even got a serger. I made it with nails, see? I hammered it. You can't see. Just kidding. <laughs> Can you find the right fabric for this project? Si, perfecto! <laughs> Stupid. Okay. At first, I didn't know how I was going to draw this corset, and then I decided why not start here and give this a shot. I started by just tracing out a rough shape of what I wanted on a tank top that I wore on my body and even though this tank top is stretchy I think it's still gonna work because I want some negative ease or some room in between my corset panels to you know tight that bitch up to you know lace that bitch up so yeah don't call the sewing police on me do you have a question do I know if this is gonna work After that, I just cut out the pieces of that tank top because I really did not care about that thing. It's it's dead to me. And then I just transferred it to paper and added seam allowance. That took a really long time and I don't even know if it's gonna work. This could be a complete utter failure and disaster or a complete utter and beautiful miracle. Which one do you think is gonna be? <laughs> I then decided to do the responsible thing and use some scrap fabric to make a mock-up. I wasn't gonna make a mock-up at all, but then I was like, you know what? That would be a lot of work if I didn't know. And this actually gave me like a clue of how it was gonna fit. So I'm glad I did it. Yeah, that looks good, I think. I'm just gonna do it. I it, I think it's fine. Woo! Okay. Now we gotta take it apart. Don't tell the historical police on me. They're gonna shame me. No, they're not. They're probably really nice, loving group of people. It's coming. I cut out one layer of the red and gold baroque fabric and two layers of this muslin-y, muslin -y type of cotton fabric, one for the back and one for the lining. So all together there's three pieces per pattern piece. Now I am starting the painstaking task of drawing boning channels on all of these pattern pieces. I made sure to mark lines just the right width for my boning channels and I left gaps for my eyelets and after that I just kind of freehanded the design by looking at some references and I decided what direction the boning channels were going to go. Some are diagonal, some are straight, but overall I put about two to four pieces of boning per pattern piece. Who's a weenie hut junior? Hey! <laughs> Just kidding, G. I'm Mega Weenie Hunter. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> the 
So, if I did all this, does that make me the boner? The boner? <laughs> Stupid. Um, I'm hungry. I'm hungry and I'm getting weird. Okay. I don't get hangry, I get weird. <laughs> One dinner break later. I'm back and I'm gonna work on this shit. Mm. Well, that was, did you see that? No. Yeah, looks cool. <laughs> Come on. I then started by sewing all three pieces together in the middle of the front and the back because that wasn't to be binded. That wasn't gonna be bound. It wasn't bound to happen. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I got this done and now I can use my new serger. Woo! To the serger! At the serger! Yeah. You guys, funny story, this is haunted. I think the foot pedal's haunted because sometimes it just runs by itself and it just go. Um. Wow. Oh my god. Where have you been all my life? To the iron board! I then started on working on sewing my bodice pieces together. I first serged my red piece and one layer of the muslin fabric together on all these sides, and then I sewed all the pieces together at the seams. Look at how cool this is. Oh, I hope it fits. Here's a close up of how it looks on the inside, in case I know that was probably confusing. Um, is this is hardly a tutorial? I mean, most of my videos aren't really. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cut this and go for it. I hope you maybe you could get something. I don't know. Um, anyways, now I am transferring all those boning channels I drew onto my fabric so that I will have nice lines to follow. Oh, that was a lot of work. What the hell? Half the work is drawing on it. I think I gotta I finish this tomorrow. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm back at it again ready to get her in the studio all right to start off the day I am painfully drawing out the other side of boning channels it's hard because I have to mirror it and yeah yesterday I only got one side done it took me like an hour like damn, damn. damn. I decided I should probably do something that I should have done a long time ago, and that is add interfacing. Here I am ironing my interfacing. Time to sew all these lines. Sew in line, sew in line. So there was a lot of lines I had to sew, but overall it wasn't that bad. It was pretty easy because I drew it all out. This type of press a foot really helps me make a straight line because it's kind of like a straight line. You can just look at what you drew and sew it. Uh, duh. <laughs> Obviously, why did I say that? <laughs> 
That was worth the time for sure. Look at all those lines. Ooh. Ooh. You know what I was thinking? If this is flat, like there's no curves to your body, because your body is supposed to move with the corset, right? Why couldn't I do this in one giant piece of red fabric? It could have been one continuous pattern, maybe. Can any other Sims people confirm? All right, so all I have is Rigeline boning. I definitely don't have whale boning. I'm pretty sure that's hard to come by and I'm not really vegan. <laughs> But I think this will be fine because I went ham on the boating channels and because, you know, I have it. So it's going to have to work. After I got done putting the boning in the channels, I fabric glued the edges because that red fabric was stressing me out. That fabric would literally just unravel if you looked at it wrong. But I did end up getting my phrase in check and then I realized I have to cut a deeper armpit hole because that was just up in my armpit business and that is not fun nor comfortable. Oh yeah, and I also cut some of the squiggly squiggly parts. I am at extreme loss of motivation right now. Same. Let's go, let's go. That renaissance costume ain't gonna make itself. Yeah. For my last stitch efforts of the day, <laughs> stitch efforts get it um anyway <laughs> i sewed the lining together which is just the last layer of muslin and i sewed it in a way where i could just flip it right sides out day three give it up for day three all right so i have these two pieces so far and now is the time to bind those edges i am using this stretchy gold velvet knit fabric and start by just cutting out a one inch strip of it this is going to help me stretch around all those curves and just give it the cleanest look i can because it's about to get real technical up in this bitch i just been way beer i don't want to have that look I'm gonna Uno reverse it and make it good luck. Uno reverse. Seven years of good luck. Coming my way. So this was actually probably the hardest technical part, but the stretchy fabric really saved my back. And it doesn't fray, so I didn't have to worry about tucking it back over on the other side. So yeah, I'm glad I could pull this off. Fingers crossed because I'm now sewing the stitch in the ditch part which is supposed to catch the other side and it's supposed to be very inconspicuous from the top side. So I hope I can achieve that. Wish me luck. Ooh, baby, look at that thing. I did that thing, yeah. Woo! <laughs> To be honest, I did miss a couple parts on the back side, and I can't believe I'm even saying this right now, but I ended up hand sewing it. Oh, that looks good. I am so surprised I did that. Alrighty, it is eyelet time, and here I am just measuring all of them out. Stop. Hem time. And then I popped, lock, and dropped it down onto the floor because that's where this activity is best done. And it breaks my back, but here I am just using those tapping tools and hammering it all out. Okay, so I was wondering what the hell this powdery stuff was was coming out of my hole punch. I poked holes through the rug and through the floor. Oh my god, I was going too hard! Oh my god, look at the carpet. After trying out different boards to hammer on, I realized it was making holes in the board too, or just like wounding it. So I just went back to the floor and got a little bit more power control. All I can say is, you know, I've been working out. I'm tired of hammering, Grandpa! Well, that's too damn bad! 
after I added all the eyelids, that was the moment where I could finally try it on and see if it actually fit. So, I just used some random string. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, okay. All I need to do is make straps with ribbon. And I think I'll probably make a back panel. You heard the lady. Two straps and one back panel coming right up. I pretty much just cut out a slight trapezoidal rectangle shape and two glizzy shapes for what I needed and then I sewed the back panel together at the side so that those edges would be tucked. And then the rest I'm just going to use binding the same as on the corset body. Now presenting my sister being unamused at my jokes for approximately 10 seconds. Don't these look just like really funny? <laughs> They're like glizzies. Renaissance glizzies. Oh. Hot diggity dogs. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Searching for target 1212. She did not laugh at my jokes. Target locked. Target eliminated. All right, there we have it. One modesty panel and two glizzies. Dessert break! For this step, I went back to old timey days and hand sewed the back panel on to the corset and it was absolutely horrible. And now I'm making holes for the eyelets by doing the responsible thing and cutting it out with scissors instead of trying to hole punch it and making accidental holes in the floor. I'm sorry, Dad. Please, nobody tell him. Oh my goodness, you guys. That was so much work. And uh, all I need is ribbon. So, Joanne's prepare to see me tomorrow morning, bright and early. I also got a little bit of this gold trim that I just could not resist. And I think it looks pretty good. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. I'm pretty sure I'm done. Got this bad boy. Knocked it out of the park. You know what I mean? Oh, it is late. We gotta get up early tomorrow and go to the Renaissance Fair. See you guys tomorrow when I look all old. Oh.
sewing activate. Oh, did you hear that? Oh my god. <laughs> I can't reach. Hey Siri, turn the camera off. Help me, G. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you said foot. Broom, broom. Cue the action music. Hola, quieres sandía? Mmm, muy delicioso. Super excited to make video. Too plain. Just a second ago, you weren't even recording. No. <laughs> sorry. No, sorry, what's up? Hi. Oh, <laughs> hi. I'm this sorry. is why I always go like this. And I talk to <laughs> I literally go like this and then talk to people. You just go camera. like this. No. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Your girl is tight. Tight. Oh. I'm tight, dog.